Hey guys, it's Cassandra and I'm here today to review this African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask by Shea Moisture. This particular um, mask is for blemish prone skin. So I'm using that one. It is the African Black Soap line. So if you use the shampoo, conditioner, it smells just like it. It's very, very smooth and liquidy and obviously moisturizing is by Shea Moisture. But um, it doesn't harden. Yeah, it's still it's like lotion still, and I've had it on for about 10 minutes now. Um, it does have bentonite in it, but it doesn't have too much, and that's good because I had a bad reaction to some um, bentonite clay a while back. I'm gonna rinse this off, and I'll get back to y'all and tell y'all how I feel about it. So, I know y'all saw this shirt in my other video, but I had to get back up here and talk about this um, African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask that I put on the other day. Okay, I enjoyed it. It was very moisturizing. However, I do... Hmm, how do I put this? I like masks that harden and like you can barely talk and you're like... Ugh. Because you can't move your face. I like masks like that. This mask does not do that. Not saying that this is a bad mask because there's plenty of people who probably don't want a hard mask. Like I would, I would still use this. But if you're looking for something that um, is like hardens on your face, this doesn't do it. There's a lot in here. Like there's still some left over, and I put a lot on my face um, the other day. So I noticed that where I didn't have a lot versus where I kind of like caked it on or piled it on or lathered it on rather. Um, it was thinner, it dried faster, um, which I thought, oh, it might harden up. It didn't harden up. It kind of like looked a little scale, like a little flake kind of. It didn't flake off or anything, but I noticed that the less you put, you know, obviously the quicker it's going to dry, but it does not harden like any of those masks. But I did enjoy the mask. It washed off fairly easy. I just used my fingers in warm water. Again, I purchased this for um, two for five dollars at Walmart. This is the other one that I purchased, the Roche Butter Hydrating Mud Mask. I'm pretty sure it's gonna smell just like the hairline, because this one smelled just like the hairline, but if you guys try those out, let me know what you think about them below in the comment box. I would love to hear your reviews on it. The other things that y'all use for blemish prone skin and um, like dry skin, because this one is for dry skin, and I, you know, I get dry in my teeth zone or whatever, but yeah, if y'all use it, let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to y'all later.